Now I hear you. A lot of people say this game is pay to win. Now I hear you. I hear you. Some of the best gears in Wizard Runner 1 is from the packs. So you're not wrong. You're completely not wrong. But wait. Let me tell you something. You can get at very high damage, very high power pip, and very high accuracy on a fire wizard with completely free gear. Yes, you heard me. Completely free. You don't need the fossil avengers. You don't need the the that's that's the only thing that you pay for that's it the only thing from packs that goes towards your gear to get the best stats damage wise is fossil vendors everything else is completely free as a fire wizard you can get almost close to 190 damage with max power pip and max accuracy with completely free gear and i'm gonna show you how to do that right now before we get started i would like to let you guys know if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content don't forget to hit that sub button my man you know i watch videos sometimes and i really enjoy the videos but i always forget the sub and i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one that just forgets the sub and then i try to go back and find the video so i can subscribe and i can't find dude you know what i'm talking about so do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel if you enjoy the content if you don't like the content then just don't sub but if you do enjoy the content hit that submarino button my friend now it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple there's two ways that you can do this the first way is you know i'm about to show you so your helmet that you're gonna want to ruck is the dragoon fiery helmet um your robe can either be the malister robe or the fossil not the fossil vintage the radiant light brigade armor both of them you can get for completely free so you can interchange between uh both of which if, whichever one you prefer i'm explaining the differences after i explain the rest of the gear so the boots that you're going to be wearing is the dragoon fiery boots the wand that you're going to use isn't the soldier's fiery blade i currently don't have the wand it is the uber wand from caramel that you have to farm for or you can also buy it in a bazaar the uber one gives the exact same damage as the fossil avenger skull crusher which is 24 damage so basically it gives four more damage than the soldier fiery blade so we're just going to keep that in mind i'm too lazy to go and farm it and i'm too lazy to go and buy it and, and just wait and hope that somebody sells it so i'm not going to do that instead we're just going to add four to the fire damage and that's just going to be the, the uber one for us for your theme you're going to want to rock it, the edge of the shadow web or the edge of the raging day star because you get that extra two percent power pip and that extra two accuracy as for the amulet you're gonna rock the dragon's fiery charm also free you're gonna need this to complete your dragon set bonus and as for the ring you're gonna rock the exact of thermal ring which is another piece of caramel gear that you cannot that you can either farm for or buy in the bazaar you can also use the director thermal ring for the extra circle slide i usually use this for pierce because i really really like pierce the next thing you're gonna use is an all damage pet it doesn't have to be the fossil i mean it doesn't have to be yeah it doesn't have to be the fossil avengers pet since you're not really using the set bonus it could be any pet in the world it just needs to have all damage with mighty as for the deck that i am currently using i am using the fiery paradox deck and i have the power pip percentage socketed because you're gonna need that now with all of this gear i'm rocking 184 damage with 24 accuracy and 100 power pip now if we were to use the uber one that's four percent more damage we'll be rocking 188 damage that's pretty close to 190 that's 188 damage with 24 accuracy and 101 power pip all completely for free now you could use the malister robe instead of the radiant light brigade armor and if you were to use the the, the malister robe you would achieve 32 accuracy 182 damage with 104 power pip or 186 damage with max accuracy and max power pip so yeah that's pretty high you know without spending a single penny into the game except for membership that is pretty damn high now to pay to win gear like the fossil avenger skull crusher wand or the royal features dress code we're talking about probably spending close to 100 dollars to get 10 extra damage well it's more like 16 extra damage if you really think about it but yeah for 16 extra like would you spend a hundred dollars for 16 extra damage i wouldn't do that but i did it and i'm pretty sure a lot of other people did it for no reason you know 1600 damage for a hundred dollars when you think about that you know the hundred dollars part that'll sound you know realistic like i'm not about to do that but we did it all right we did it we fell for the trap now i'm here telling you guys don't fall for the trap you don't need good stuff you don't need 198 damage with max action max power now if you're a flexor and you want to flex on somebody like me then you might need that guy you know you might need that but if you're not a flexor you don't really care and you just want to have good stats without spending a dime on a game this 
is the way to go my friends this is the way to go you can achieve 186 damage or 188 damage depending on which robe that you choose also you could use the edge of the raging day star with the royal with the radiant light brigade armor um you get 183 damage with 26 accuracy so you have that extra two percent accuracy which is pretty kind of close to max accuracy you don't really fizzle your spells the only spells that you have a chance of fizzling is scion because it's 70 percent accuracy or any of the shadow spells because those are also 70 percent accuracy at 26 of that we're looking at 96 percent actually four percent chance to fail um but it's really not that much like you know you know what i mean you lose one damage um but with the uber one you would gain four damage so you would be at around what 87 187 damage with 26 accuracy and 103 power pip now another option that you can choose which i kind of do on the low uh you could sock in an accuracy deck instead of a power pip deck um i usually switch between the two whenever i'm using like different gear like if i'm using a royal features dress code then i use the accuracy deck instead of the power pip deck um but yeah if you were to use this then you have a lot of accuracy you have 39 accuracy and your power pit will be 93 um you're probably gonna fail pip noticeably if you do that but um at least you won't fizzle but yeah this is the best free to play fire gear build i hope that you guys enjoyed uh i do go live on twitch almost well yeah pretty much every single day twitch.tv slash mojo underscore yt if you guys want to check me out it would be amazing if you did and uh, as i said at the beginning of this video if you're new here and you enjoy the content don't forget to subscribe it would be awesome if you did i appreciate you guys watching Hopefully you learned something new and have a great day.